guys, you guys, I'm going to show you how to make a booby trap. I'm going to show you step by step of on how to do it and what you need. First things you will need is a four double A battery holder with a switch. Make sure that switch is off. My wire broke on here, so switch works. I was missing a wire. Next thing you need a switch and four pieces of tin foil. Some kind of load, like a light, a motor, or a speaker. A clip. Four AAA batteries. Some wire. Some thread. Some sticky notes. A sharpie. A big chunk of tin foil. Tape. And scissors. Optional is powering it from the wall with a USB charger and a USB cable. I can get this in there. I will show you both ways. Take it away, the awesome dude, Bronson. How did, how did you build your thing? Do you want to explain? Or do you want me just to get straight on into the video? Okay. There we go, guys. I'm back. My cousin just wanted to do that little scene there. Black is ground. Easiest thing to remember. Black is ground. In this case, green usually means ground for household wiring. Please turn that off. Please turn that off. There. In this case, green's gonna be the accessory light. Light, accessory light. Accessory connection. Possibly. If I can get it in here. Make sure there's no loose fibers in here. Because that might end horribly. With there actually being smoke and a fire. This wire gets hot enough. It was shorting out. It would if it got hot enough. It was shorting out. Sorry, this part takes a long time. Just trying to get that wire through there is annoying. There we go. Okay, now take your tape. Break off a small piece. About that long. Don't know how well you can see this. My next jump cut, I'm going to be showing you how this how my setup is done over here with my cousin's iPad. Actually, maybe I, 
I maybe I won't do that. I'll just set his iPad up there, just so you get the idea of what's going on. Because I don't think he's gonna wait 24 minutes for me to copy off file, find the file, copy it off of his iPad. So yeah, I'll just have a jump cut here. Just to minus the broken cord here, it would be plugged in. I just plugged into my phone. This is what the setup is like. You got the iPad here. Then you got your stuff down here. It's basically sitting on a bucket with this on it. And then you, your phone, I guess, but it's an iPad in this case. So yeah, now you know how this, the setup is done. What you want to do is take your battery pack, take your ground wire, hook it up. Just a second. Yeah, sorry about the next jump cut there. I just had to fix something. What I'm going to do before I go any further is I'm going to take my tin foil balls and I'm going to push one in here. And hope that's making a good connection like that. Just the one right now. If you're not using a double. Triple A batteries, you don't have to worry about this. Whoops. You know what I forgot to do? Good thing this just easily come off. I forgot to attach. Oops, I can't use those. I forgot to attach the wire from the accessory. And there will be a live demonstration of how this works. Yeah. Pieces. Go in a pile. It's a good thing I noticed that. I don't need anything off this one. Yeah, let me just put the batteries in. That didn't work. Have you come over here and flip it on? Oh yeah, turn on your switch first. That was on. I think the thing is blown. Oh no, something's not making connection. I have a dead battery in the system. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, you know how to wire it up like this now, but 
I'm gonna just use AC power. I think the switch on my battery pack is busted. Just get your power cable. You don't even have to have it stripped very long. Focus on this, yeah. Something about that long is good enough. Sorry, I don't have autofocus turned on, so I just hear tap, tap, tap throughout the video. That's just me focusing the video. Okay, so I got my ground attached. And you can also power them off of battery banks if they're not broken. Mine has a slight issue. And that slight issue is it won't charge anything. It won't even work properly. It only sends out like half a volt. If you go over one amp. So it's not very good. Anymore. It's just old. And dying. Because if you ever had the, these kind of battery banks, like the exact same ones, out of the exact same brand, if you had them, you shouldn't have any problems. Unless you short something out by accident. Like I did. Wait, no, don't do that. Ah, crap. I gotta strip the wire again. This is just turning on into a long video because I keep screwing up. Got it. As you can tell, it took me quite a while. You guys all know how a switch works, right? And the Sharpie's dead. There we go. So that's basically what a switch looks like on the inside. So when you close the circuit, you can see power runs through the switch but that's not what this video is about it's not about me explaining how a switch works There, that's the wiring part done. What's that half of the wiring done? Let's just make sure it all works first. Let's take let's get the power supply in over here.
and it does light up. Okay, so it's good to know. Unplug both of these. <coughs> Now onto the more interesting part. Designing the clip. I think that's about my approach. Oops. Like that, so I'm gonna cut this out off camera here.